Hey guys and welcome back. So today we are going to be watching our Flag Means That season 2 episode 3 and this next episode is called The Innkeeper and this for sure has to be the episode where Steven and I meet again, right? Like this is finally time for the reunion. I just, like it has to be, right? Because after this we're already going to be watching episode 4 which is the halfway point of the season. Like they cannot just give me half a season worth of Ed and Steve together, right? Like that's extremely rude they're, they're the heart of the show i need them to meet up like please i'm begging you please 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 i need them to be back together or at least in the same room so they can talk about their issues so steve can explain why he left why he didn't go and meet up with ed and hopefully ed can forgive him at least that's what i'm hoping for i, I don't know but i, I just need them to meet, okay? Like, that's all I want. I mean, of course, Jim could have also just broken Ed's face and none of this would matter anyway. The point is moot because Ed's dead. <laughs> There's no way that actually happened. But yeah, I'm excited to see the outcome of that scene. Like, what did Jim do? Did they actually hit Ed or did they just smash the cannonball next to Ed's head? I need some answers. So if you guys are interested, you can watch the full unedited reaction to this up on my Patreon. The link is going to be in the description down below. And let's just jump, get into it. Oh, is this the revenge? Is it burning up? <laughs> Oh, no, it's not. So we won the raid. Oh. He calls himself the Soul Reaper. I'm not calling him that. What's his real name? Oh, it's John. John Bartholomew. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, the poor man. He says he's going to shoot himself in the... in the head, but he wants to look me in the eye while he does it. Yeah. <laughs> what a power move. You, you bested me. We will our guys. As I said myself. Oh, what a sexist, sexist man. That's the captain. You bested me. No, no, sorry, bro. Hi. I know it's been a day. Go ahead and blow your brains out, but your last act on this planet will be surrendering to a woman. Fuck him up. Or we could have drinks. Champers? <laughs> What if we could all work together, support each other in that? Oh my god. Oh, forget it. Yeah. It's no, stupid. No, no, go so stupid. No, 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 no. Tell me, what is it? She's so good at this. I mean, he was gonna blow his brains out and then you close the deal. Wow. I think what John really needed was someone to talk to. That's what I always say. Olu, don't I say that? No, 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 you... you... The seas would... No, he actually does say that. Oh, you mean if he didn't? Yes, this is a join me or die situation. I didn't conquer China by letting people go on and on about their feelings. Mmm. Dire. <laughs> um, so... It's weird, isn't it? A musical. A musical? Honey, that's what counting. We've come across another ship. Two in one day. Is it the revenge? Looks like it hit a storm. Sails are pretty messed up. No I'm gonna scream, I'm gonna scream. I need to calm down. I don't think I can though. The revenge. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, he's running for him. Maybe she's gone through that triangle thing by Bermuda. Has anyone told? Ed, I'm here! <gasps> Steve! Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, is he unconscious? Oh no, there you go. <laughs> Where is he? They're not eating yet, right? <laughs> oh, oh, that's nasty business. Why not cook it first? Hi guys! guys. Uh, Oh shit. Hi. Where's Ed, bitch? Where the fuck is Ed? Where's Ed? Uh, there's no good way to say this. No, 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 no. I retired. What? Why? Why are you all looking at each other? They kill him? Yeah, that's where he went. That's our answer. Mm -hmm. Tired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's got tired. You're kidding me, they found the revenge, but Ed is not on it. I think this show is trying to kill me. I smell mutiny. I smell leather. B.O. You're compromised. I love her. You just want to keep the soft one happy. 
I'll get to the bottom oh, of it. Oh no, it's gonna end badly because Jim's here. Ed? Ed, are you alive? Say something! Move a muscle! Oh god, who is this person who's going up to him? Okay, he's been saved, I think. Who is this? Man, they were so close to meeting each other. I wanna cry. What did you do to me when I was out? Anything weird? No. Just making you some soup. Captain Order Gold. Then now. Who? Open up for the cargo ship. Fuck you, I'm not eating that! Fuck off! Fuck off, hey! Are we supposed to know who this is? I know you probably got some bad memories starring your old captain. Last time I saw you, she said you were gonna flay my skin and feed it back to me. You're yeah, right, all right. Oh, shit. A man was brought down. What? Here. No. Oh, shit. Right on the spot. Oh, my gosh, she's so good. You're not ringing any bells for me. Blackbeard, I mean, auntie, auntie, auntie. Auntie. Why? He was about six foot tall. Oh. Mm. How can you tell that? It's quite hot. I'm burning up here. <laughs> Should we go get some cooling bevies? Maybe it's the weather. Or maybe it's the guilt that's building a raging inferno within you. No, that can't be it. Fuck, oh, that is refreshing. Yeah, isn't it? Steve said it's called eucalyptus. Mm. I missed you. Huh? I kissed someone. What? Really? Yeah. It was actually a lot of kissing. <laughs> it, if... That's okay, we can forgive that, I think, right? And you're kind of the best friend I tell things to. Just a friend? I saw her boobs. Oh, okay, nice. Both of them. Okay, that's enough. I don't need any more. I hope they can get back together. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry, Bonnet. We just redecorated. I don't mind, actually. I think the knives really help bring the place together. What'd you do with them? I know he wouldn't have left by choice. I know you think you understand them. He was either going to watch the world burn or die trying, so which was it? All right, Bonnet. Have it your own way. He went mad. He tortured the crew. He took my fucking leg because I dared to mention your fucking name. He was a wild dog and we dealt with him like one. You sent him to doggy heaven. <laughs> Not doggy heaven. No, I could never do that. Oh, we sent him to hell. We deserted him on a beach, left nature to do the rest. More oh. than he would have done for us. I thought he got washed ashore. We cannot let this crew suffer anymore for our mistakes. Why would they suffer? If your captain senses mutiny, she'll kill us all. That's pirate code. Shit. Is Steve gonna go to the island to find Ed? Like, please tell me he will do that. He worried you're insane. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I think he actually is. I once spared a cabin boy a live crab. Yeah, I was there. That cabin boy's name was Felix. He was a really nice guy. And that fucking crab clawed its way out through his stomach and it killed him. Jesus Christ. Good for the crap, though. Feeling bad isn't going to rebuild an abdominal wall, is it? you got to move on, man. you got to move on, you know? Or you blow your brains out. Nice options. It can be quite troubled. Girl, how are you? You must feel so weird. I love her so much. Well, that feels pretty complicated, actually. I bet. I feel like I let him down. Yeah, you and did. I'm the cause of a lot of this. Kinda are, yeah. I should have just told him how I feel. Definitely. But I was scared. I get that. I am feeling a little merciful today. Okay, that's good. Jackpot. I found the jackpot. What is that? I actually thought about uh, opening an inn. <laughs> an inn? I thought you wanted to make a restaurant. You get to walk around with a set of keys, like a jailer, but all the prisoners like you, and they can go whenever they want. <gasps> They're just Are you going to turn pretend. around? Uh, not until you ring the bell, sir. You gotta ring the bell. That is so fucking cute. How are these both evil, torturous men? Do you have a reservation at all? Listen, mate, if you got a room or not, it's not that hard. Okay. Don't have to. Why are you being like that? Why are you being a dick? I'm not being a dick. You're gonna have to deal with customers. Yeah, but Jeff's like being me. really nice. Jeff's being I, polite. And Jeff's you need to deal you. with customers like me, all right? It's a people business, buddy. Okay? <laughs> I 
love it. Or well, maybe you want to strangle me like you did your old dad. How the fuck did you know about that? Why would he bring that up? Never told anyone about that. But you did though, didn't you? Oh, this is not real. <laughs> and he left you. Fuck you. He's just hallucinating? You're afraid you're unlovable. I'm not a good person, Steve. <laughs> That's why I don't have any friends. I'm your friend. I'm gonna fucking kill you! What's happening? Was this real or not? Oh, okay, yeah, okay, not real, not real, not real. You can't kill me, Eddie. <laughs> He's going to try, though. They've been lying to us. It. I told you they killed him. Oh my god, he's still here. Ed, why is his face covered? Oh no, what does he look like under it? Go on, Bonnie, give me your worst. Even Izzy is crying about it. Alright, so am I dead? Not exactly. No. What does that mean? Is he in a coma? The nether realm. The inevitable and yet the impossible. You're talking about purgatory. What? So who decides whether I live or die? You? Oh, fuck no. Can I decide? I would live. This is on you. Okay, well, I feel like I'm gonna choose. I feel like I'm supposed to choose live. But he, but he wants to choose that, right? List of the pros and the cons, you know? I mean, what do you like about living? Steed? Being warm, good food, intercourse. I like that too. <laughs> okay. Orgasms. Well, oh, okay. Not just no, that's, of course. That's it's got to finish with warm, the good shit. Good food, orgasms. orgasms. Yeah, orgasms. Okay, great. Three solid things. That's a good start. Three solid things. What about cons? I don't think anyone's waiting for me. <gasps> it's not true, uh, please. Steve is right there. He loves you. Please. Is complicated by your uh, your boat mance with Jim. Uh, is it? No. Yes. Yes, we, we did have a boat uh, mance. What pet? Well, then how would this um, execution affect? Us. Oh, God. And I was trying to seduce you. Oh. Was that not um, clear? It did not come across that way, hon. Kill me, it's me, but ooh. Mm. Mm -hmm. This one has a smell. Ooh. Yes. Two. It's chamomile. Yes. Let's go, Steed. We're taking back the revenge. Yes, baby boy. Oh, that is so exciting. So, so sorry. <laughs> oh, my God, we're doing this. We've only got one shot. It's on you, Black Pete. Me? Why me? You've always said you got perfect aim. I never said that. You say that all the time. Yeah. You said it today. Come on. The entire escape relies on this. Fine. I'll do it. Oh, please, Black Pete. You've got this. Oh, he's gonna miss, isn't he? Nope. I can't oh, go. Oh. I've never even seen one of these. Seriously? Oh, yeah, cockeyed. I love him so much. Let's go. Oh, that's cool. I love it. Let's talk about it later. I don't like this. What's going on? Are you sleeping? We don't have time. Come on. Oh, oh. There you go. I was like, choose Jim, obviously. They stole the wheel. Oh, I don't think it was wise to make an enemy out of her. She's got a lot of allies and power. And the entirety of China behind her. It's too windy to think. Parody. <laughs> you made your choice. What are you talking about? Is he supposed to jump off? Oh, oh Christ. You just I'm absolutely the fuck not. I'm not me, I'm you. You brought me here. Well, why would I do that? I hate you. I've always hated your guts. Oh, does he hate himself? Here we go. Oh. Oh. So if you hate me, and I am you, then I hate myself. Bullseye! Finally! I don't like this map. I'm not lovable. And you're scared to do anything about it. Of course you are. But old Hornigold, he ain't scared. Quiet! <laughs> That's fine, right? Like, that doesn't kill him. You're welcome, old chum. I absolutely hate it here. I'm so fucking stressed. Talk to him, Steve. Maybe he can hear you. Tell him you love him. Oh, he's gonna swim to the surface when he hears Steve's voice, right? It's gonna be so fucking romantic. I don't know if I can survive this. Why'd you have to go and get yourself killed? Oh, God. What is it? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Kesse. Sen kesse. Maybe your kiss will bring Anne, him back. I missed all of this up. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry, Ed. I'm sorry. I can hear him. I can hear him. Ed. Ed. Wake up. Please wake up. Come back to me. Please don't die. I'm here now. I love them so much. Oh, this cutest fucking montage. The little feet touch. I'm here. I'll never leave you. I'll never leave again. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm here. You're safe. This is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Susan at the same time like I'm not <laughs> I'm not okay I'm not okay I'm really laughing and crying at the same time that <laughs> Norway scene was fucking hilarious and then just ah oh, begging him to wake up and then he woke up and I'm so I love them so much. This show is gonna be the death of me. I cannot fucking wait for the next next episode. I can't believe I have to wait a week. I'm oh, I'm really excited just to see them talk and like just all of it, and then being back on the revenge together, going on adventures, trying to hide from Jean Zhao because I'm sure she will coming for us, and we're not even slightly equipped to defend ourselves against her. So that's gonna be stressful. But season F, are back man. I just love this so much. I loved going into Ed's head, and you know, just seeing him deal with his own self-hatred and just wanting to die because he didn't believe anybody could love him. That's so sad. But Steed loves him. Steed is his friend. It's so good. It's actually so good. I love it. And I'm so excited for Steed to talk to him and convince him and show him that he is lovable. I'm so excited. I'm just, ah, this show is so good. I love it so much. I'm sorry. I don't really have anything meaningful to say because I'm just so excited and so happy. That's it. Like, that's all I got to say. I love this show. Man, I'm so excited for the next episode. Like, I'm sure it's not gonna be easy sailing for Steed and Ed. And I'm sure it's gonna be a while before Ed is able to trust Steed again. But I know they can work through it and I'm excited to see all the conflicts that will come from it and how they will overcome it and hopefully end up fully together by the end of the season. Like honestly, I don't really expect them to be a couple in the next episode, like immediately. I think it's gonna be like a long journey for them to get back to the place where they were back in season one. But I do believe that maybe this time around the season can end with them together and happy. I cannot deal with another heartbreak, so... I just really hope that they can work through all of their issues and be happy. So yeah, this was definitely my favorite episode of the season so far. I'm so excited that Steve and Ed are back together and so are all one day and Jim. I hope they can also work on their relationship. I mean, they both had a little bit of dalliance with someone else. I mean, all one day less so, I feel. I don't think he was very much so into Shan Sao, but still... He kissed her. I don't think he had a choice in that dose, but you know, now him and Jim maybe can find their way back to each other. I really, really hope, like I really hope they're not just gonna stay as best friends because I really, really love that romance back in season one. So I'm really, really rooting for them. And yeah, now I get to wait a week to watch the next episode. Yay, that's fun. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, a huge, huge shout goes out to my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven. It's like someone